Hello everybody, my name is Janet. I am going to be running you through a 30 minute barbell workout today. Um, if you don't have a barbell at home, that is totally fine. You'll see I have a set of free weights here. So for those of you that are following along, I'm gonna generally try and do about half the track with a barbell, half the track with um, free weights, so with dumbbells. Um, of course, if you're at home with a barbell, you do not need to switch back and forth with me. There is one track in biceps where everybody will be using dumbbells. So if you are at home, um, I would suggest having a set of dumbbells or if you have another set of plates, you can use plates as well for that. Um, and other than that, if you've never done this class before, um, it is choreographed to music and we will do, every track is gonna be a different muscle group focus. So today we're gonna do a warm up, then we're gonna move into squats, we're gonna do biceps, triceps, lunges, and then we're gonna work into the back. Um, I'm gonna let you know how to move your body, where you should feel things, and of course how much weight you should have on your bar to start. Um, you're gonna have a nice lightweight, something you think you could bicep curl for five minutes straight, and then for the most part, I'm going to give you weight in relation to what you have on your bar right now for every track. So we are going to get started with our warm up. So you're gonna pick up your bar, feet under hips. Nice soft bend in the knee. Roll the shoulders. Deadlift, two, two. Down, down, and up. You got it. Keep coming, same thing. Down, down, and up. So you're gonna push back through your hips, squeezing those hammies and glutes to the top, keeping just a touch of tension between your shoulder blades. Single row, down, pull it in, and rise. So you're gonna pull those shoulder blades in towards your spine. Low abs fire on at the bottom. You got it. Keep coming, four more. Down, squeeze, and rise. You're gonna keep those low abs nice and tight as you pull the bar in. Torso stays still. One more time. All right, listen up. Upright row, single time. Up and down. Bar is nice and close to the body. Shoulders down and away from the ears. Four, three. All right, tempo change. Three by one. Three, two, one, and release. You got it, warming up into those shoulders. This next one you're gonna hold at the top, flip the bar, two, two, press. Up, up, down, down. So you wanna keep that bar in front of your face. Nice controlled movement, warming a little bit more into those shoulders. Three and one, smooth up, three, two, one, quick release. Woo, you got it. Couple more. All right, this last one stays at the top. Bring it behind the head, single squat, down and up. Drop, rise. So feet are just outside of your hips. Toes turn slightly outwards. Four more. Three. Take the left leg back, single lunge, drop, rise. Back knee drops straight down, chest is up. You got it, four more. Nice. Last one, switch sides, same thing. Drop, rise. Digging that front heel into the floor, activating through the quad and glute. Two more. Feet come wide, two and two, squat. Down, down, up, up. So feet are a little bit wider this time, recruiting into the glutes. You got it. Keep coming. Down, down, up. Drop and hold it. Push it up. Yeah, you got it. All right, take that bar down. We are gonna move into squats. You're gonna take your weight. You're gonna go two to three times what you have on. If you are using your dumbbells, you are gonna grab them. You're gonna hold them at your chest. So we're gonna go through three different stances. You do also need one free weight. So if you've got a barbell at home, you're gonna use plates, or if you've got dumbbells handy, you're gonna use those right for the last little bit of work. Other than that, we're gonna start mid stance. So you're gonna start feet just outside of hips. Core is gonna be braced in. You're gonna have a free weight, either plates or dumbbells. 
for the very last bit of work. So when you pick up that bar, you're gonna clean and press right onto the meaty part of your back. And we will get rolling. So setting up, toes turn just slightly outwards. Core is braced in, shoulders back and down. We are gonna start with a mid stance squat. Then we're gonna move into wide and then extra wide, finishing with that free weight work, adding in a calf raise. All right. I want you to set your shoulders back and down, core braced in. We're gonna start slow squat down and slow rise. Again, nice and slow. Yeah, you got it. Down quick, hold it. Drop, slow push. Again, drop and hold, slow push. Yeah, you got it. I want you to focus on that catch hold. Squeeze slow. Drop. Squeeze. One more. All right, drop quick, hold it. Quick push up. Quick drop. Quick push. Yeah. I want you to get all the way up. Nothing can stop us. Come on. Drop. Rise. You got a couple more. Three pulse at the bottom. Slow. Two. One. Rise up again. Three. Two. One. Rise up. Two more. Tension stays on the quads. One. And rise. Alright, hold it. Shake the legs. Now, you're going to take your feet. You're going to rock it. One heel toe wider. Brace it in. Nice slow sit to the back. Four, three, two, and slow rise. So in this wider stance, you're gonna feel that recruiting more through your glutes. And up. Nice, smooth squeeze to the top. All right, tempo, tempo, drop and hold it, let's go. Drop, slow. Drop, slow push. You got it, you got it. Keep going, down, squeeze. Digging in those heels, low abs on tight. You got it, you got it. All right, drop quick, hold it. Quick push up, what you need. Yeah, you got it. You got it, friends. Woo, four more. Drive. Big squeeze. One more. All right, work it slow and low three times. Three, two, one. Push it up again, again. Loading the glutes. Little pulse. Squeeze it. Three. Woo, one more time, one more. Three, two, one. Drop and hold. Push it up. Drop. Push. All right. Shake it out. You're going to take that stance. Another heel toe wider. Extra wide. Toes to 45. Slow down. Four. Slow rise. Again, slow. Quick drop, hold it down. Slow push up. So this time, wide stance, toes to 45. You're gonna feel that recruiting into those inner thighs. Nice job. I got what you need. All right, drop quick, hold it. Quick push up. Yep, all the way. Yep. Four more here, guys. Keep breathing. Two more. Squeeze it up. All right. Triple pulse downstairs. Three, two, one. Rise up. Three, two, one. Rise. Two more. 
You should be feeling that burn in your legs now. One more time. Now I've got a challenge for you. We're gonna stay down. Pulse now, let's go. 16, 15. Stay down. We aren't going up at all. Woo, stay down. Eight, seven, six, five. Stay down. Four, three, two. All right, step it in. Shake it out. Everybody is going to drop their free weights. So, set feet just outside of hips. Drop quick and hold. Rise up, calf raise. Drop. Rise. You got it. Keep going. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with a calf raise, you're just going to stay with those heels grounded. Triple pulse, slow. Three, two, one, rise up. Now, what does that feel like to do for you? It strengthens all those muscles around your ankles, also works into the calves. Rise up. Three, two, one, drop down and hold. Slow rise. Again, drop, slow. You got it, guys. Almost there. Nice. Finish it up. Burning into those quads. All right, hold up. Stretch it out. Take that right leg into a quad stretch. And switch. All right. Heart rate should be up. Legs should be on fire. We are going to move into triceps. So... If you're using your barbell, you're going to go to warm-up weight or slightly heavier. If you're using your dumbbells, we're going to be doing a press and an extension. So as I mentioned, halfway through, I'm going to switch. So at home, if you're using the barbell, you're going to stay with the barbell after the break on the bar. Uh, if you're using dumbbells, I'm going to cue you through what you will need to do for your dumbbell work. If you're starting with dumbbells, you're going to start with dumbbells. So you're going to be laying on your back, press. Those elbows are going to rub right by your rib cage. You're going to be holding two dumbbells in your hands. In the extension, you're going to bring your arms up, elbows over shoulders, and you're going to extend towards your forehead. If you're on the bar, you're going to have a nice narrow grip, wrists over, elbow over shoulder. Press, you're going to bring down, extension. You're going to bring that bar towards your forehead. We are all going to finish with tricep push-ups at the end. Hands are going to tuck under those shoulders, and you're going to rub your rib cage. All right, let's do it. So on your back, narrow grip. All right, we're going to start nice and slow, four by four press. Four, three, two, and slow rise. Triple pulse down. Three, two, one, and push up. Three. Tension stays down the back of the arm. You're going to come to the bottom of the rib cage at the bottom and push over top of your shoulders at the top of the move. Keep coming. Three, two, one. Push it up. Nice job, gang. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, you got it. One more time. All right, we're going to take it down nice and slow. Four and four. Four, three, two, and slow to the top. All right, we're going to transition. Slow tricep extension to the forehead. Four, three, two, and slow up. Same move. Two and two. Uh, down, down, up, up. So you want to isolate the shoulder. You're going to have a nice big hinge from your elbow. Shoulders stay down and away from the ears. All right, tempo. Singles down and up. Drop, rise, drop, rise. Two more. All right, come on up. So if you're using your barbell, you're going to stay with barbell. For those of you with dumbbells at home, I'm going to do a dumbbell set with you. So everybody lay back. If you're on the barbell, you're going to keep that same grip. If you've got dumbbells with me, two, two, press. Down, down. Up. So if you've got your barbell, it's the exact same as the first round. You're going to tuck those elbows by your rib cage. 
Now if you've got these dumbbells, check it out nice and tight in. Triple pulse down, everybody. Three, two, one, push it up. So you want just a little bit of movement at the bottom. You want to keep that tension down the back of the arm. One more time at three. All right, seven pulse. Seven, six, five. You got it, keeping that tension on. Three, two, push it up. One more time. Seven, six. All right, when we push it up, we're gonna go two and two extension. Let's go down, down, up, up. So notice how with these dumbbells, it's the same thing. That smooth control, squeezing up, keeping them in an even state with each other. Three by one, three, two, one, squeeze quick. Three, two, one, squeeze. Two more. You got it, you got it. All right, everybody come on up. We're going to tricep push-ups. So you're gonna come, you can come off your bench top or you can do these on the floor. You're gonna tuck your hands right underneath your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back and down, single tricep press. Down, up, down, up. You got it, you got it. Keep coming. Don't stop, you got it, you got it. Now if you need a little less, you're gonna tuck your knees under your hips, drop your forearms parallel to the floor and advance your shoulder one inch past your wrist. You got it, push it back. All right, moving into our bicep work. So um, at home, if you're using your barbell, you are gonna set it up with warm-up weight. So if you went heavier for triceps, you're just gonna pop it back off so you've got warm-up weight back on. If you're at home and you're using dumbbells, you're gonna bring it up and curl. Now everybody at the end is gonna grab free weights. So if you don't have weights and you have plates free, you are going to grab plates and you're going to do, we're gonna do alternating cross hammer curls. If you've got dumbbells, well, you're gonna use those guys. Same thing, all right? so. At home, if you've got a barbell, we're starting with barbell. If you don't, you're gonna grab your free set, dumbbells. You're gonna follow us, same tempos. And then everybody at the end, we're gonna finish together free weights, cross alternating hammer curl. So when you're picking up your bar, if you were to lie on your back in a nice supine position like you were on a beach and your arms fall naturally by your sides, that's exactly how you're gonna grip your bar. Underhand grip on that bar. We are gonna focus on different tempos in this track to condition the biceps. Feet under hips. Slow to the top. Four, three, two, and slow down. Again, nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Again, again, again. Four, three, two. Are you ready for it? Singles, up and down. Up, down, up, down. You got it, you got it. Four more. Three, two, one, three and one. Let's go. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Nice. Tempo change, up quick and hold, slow down, again, up and hold, core is bracing, you're going to bring that bar all the way up to your shoulders, one more, alright, boom, 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 singles up and down, hit it, up, down, all the way to the thigh, four more, we got a break after this, two more. All right, bar down. Stretch. All right. Now, barbells. You're going to stay with barbell. For those of you with dumbbells, I'm going to do this set with you so you can watch technique. Two and two, curl it up. Up, up, down. So, for dumbbells at home, again, I want you to focus on both the upward concentric contraction as well as that eccentric release. 
Singles, let's go up, down. Woo. How are your biceps doing? Mine are on fire. Yep. Up for one and hold. Let's go. Slow down. Up, hold, up, hold. Yep. Ooh, yeah. One more, one more. Are you ready for it? Single, single. Crank it. and hold. Slow down. I know what you're thinking. When is this break coming? And is it soon? I hear ya. One more, one more, one more. Bottom pulse. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hovering one inch above and below that belly button. Working around that 90 degree mark. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Extend those weights down. Stretch. All right, thumbs towards the floor. Turn the thumbs up. Everybody's gonna go to free weights, yes? All right, pick them up. Roll the shoulders. Cross hammer curl. Cross, back. Now, when you do those cross hammer curls, see how tight that weight is tucked into my body. Okay, right across the front. Yep. Boom. Yep. Woo! Think about that control. Cross, hold back. Yep. Yeah, all right. Bring it on down. Lunges. You're gonna need your barbell, or of course, again, if you don't have that barbell at home, you're gonna use your free weights, holding them in each hand by your sides. I am using my bench top to get lower in my range. If you wanna use that option, you definitely can. We are going to set one foot on top of your bench top. If you're using it, the full foot goes on, heel included. You're gonna start with your right leg on the bench. If you're using your barbell, you're gonna have it up on your back. If you're using your dumbbells, they're gonna be in both your hands, right by the sides of your body. All right. Nice and slow to the bottom. Four, three, two, and slow rise. Three by one. Three, two, one, push up. Three. You're gonna dig in that front heel. This bench top lets us get lower in our range. Singles down and up. Let's go. Drop, rise, drop, rise. Shoulders and hips nice and square. You got it. One more. Seven pulse down. Let's go. Seven, six, five, three, two. You should feel that in the glute. Again, let's go. Seven, six, three, two, one. Push back, shake it out. We're gonna put the same leg on the bench, same leg. Two and two, lunge it down, 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 up, up. Three and one. Three, two, one, drive up. Three. Oh my goodness, how is your glutes feeling? That elevated platform gets lower in the lunges, which means more work for those glutes. Singles down and up. Drop, rise. If at any time you need less, you can step off your platform or you drop your weight. One more. Seven pulse, go. Seven, six, five. Woo! Push it up, again, seven. Three, two, drop down and hold. Slow push. You got it again. You drop and hold. Slow push. Almost there, guys. Six, 
step back, shake it out. We're gonna do the same thing, other leg. So give yourself a little shake. We're gonna set up the same way. So you're gonna tuck, opposite foot on the bench. All right. Chest is up. Long stride to the back. All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> nice and slow. Four, three, two, and slow rise. Three and one. Three, two, one. Squeeze up. You got it. Nice. Here's this burn already. Singles, hit it. Drop, rise. Oh yeah. This song isn't called on fire for nothing. You got it, you got it. Seven, pulse down. Let's go. Seven, six, three, two, push it up. Again, let's go. Two, one, push back, shake it out. All right, almost there, same leg on. Step back, make sure your full foot's on the bench. Two and two, down, down, up, beauty, one more. Three and one, three, two, one, dig and squeeze. You got it, nice job. Keep breathing. Remember, if you need less, drop your weight or step off the platform. Singles. Down, up. Just breathe through. Keep working. Four, three. Pulse, seven, go. Seven, six. Oh my goodness. Three, two, push it up. Again, let's go. Seven. Three, two. Drop and hold it. Slow push up. Again, again. You got it, guys. Almost there. All right, push back. Stretch out your legs. Oh my goodness. All right, so our backtrack. So we're gonna do a few different moves, rowing, clean and press, and a high pull. So I'll show you a clean and press. You're gonna grab your barbell, it comes down, bar stays nice and close to the body, down and up, and a high pull right here. If you've got dumbbells, you're clean and press, you're gonna drop, drive, and down, high pull, you're gonna come up on the balls of your feet. Again, I'll try and do a little bit of both. We're gonna start, you're gonna pick up your bar or your dumbbell, roll the shoulders, feet under hips, take that grip wide, wide row, down, pull, and rise up. Now, keep going if you've got barbell. If you've got dumbbell, watch me. You're gonna take those dumbbells, down, pull wide, and rise up, you got it? Nice, keep coming, keep coming. Down, squeeze, and rise up. One more. Slide in the hands, upright row two, up, up, down. So your grip should be regular. You got it. One more. Single clean and press, let's go. Up, push, catch, right back up, let's go. Now, from the side, notice how that bar stays nice and close to my body. One squat, single row, let's go. Knees, pull in. You got it. Tipping from your hip, pulling nice and tight into the body. You got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Down, pull. Keep breathing. You got it. One more, one more. All right, bar down, stretch. All right, side to side, nice and easy. 
This time we're gonna go underhand grip. With your dumbbells, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna hold your weights facing me. Single row, knees, pull. Underhand grip, yes? Notice how your L's are tucked nice and close to your body. You got it. Keep going, keep going. Knees, squeeze. Working a little bit more into your mid back. Keeping that torso nice and still as you pull in. All right, listen up. Triple row down. Down. Three. Two. One. Rise up. Again. Three. Two. One. Again, again. Let's go. Down. Three. Two. One. All right, hold up. You're going to flip your grip. Roll your shoulders. Single high pull. Up, down. Up, down. Notice how I'm rolling onto the balls of my feet. Up, down. Single row now. Down, pull in. So you're pulling in nice and tight. You got it, you got it. Elbows high and wide to the back, one more. Single, clean and press, let's go. Up, push, catch, again, again. You got it. Jump the hands wide, single, wide row, down, pull. So you're pulling right where your rib cage opens up, squeezing into that back. You got it, you got it. Keep going. Down, squeeze. Come on up. All right, stretch out. Now, gang, thank you so much for coming out today. Open up through that chest. Awesome work. Thank you so much. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, let us know. Otherwise, we'd love to see you again. Thank you.